Hey guys, so kind of a quick look today, at least I think it was pretty quick and pretty easy and dark, which most of you seem to enjoy and is really what I wear out if I don't usually do neutral makeup and or neutral or natural because if I'm going to go that route, I'm just not going to wear makeup and I go out all the time not wearing makeup. Where? Okay. Nothing. <laughs> Start out with a primer. And as always, I'm using Urban Decay Primer Potion. And I'm mostly concentrating on my crease today because I'm going to use a paint pot. And I put too much on. Then I'm going to take Artifact Paint Pot, and it's a permanent paint pot, so you can still get it. I'm going to use my low Cornell brush to apply this. You can apply it with any brush, or a synthetic brush will work better. This one's not synthetic, but I don't have, I don't know where my little concealer brush is that I usually use. You could also use your fingers, which I will use my finger to blend this out. So... Apply it to your lid and a little bit into your crease. One thing you'll notice about paint pots like this is when you first put them on, the color is really vibrant and then it fades and becomes really dull. But, I mean, that'd be a problem if I was using this as my eyeshadow, just wearing this. But, it's still, it's just a base for me, and I'm not sure if I'm even making sense anymore. So there's that, and then I'm going to take my finger and just blend that outside edge. Next, I'm going to take my 222 and romping and I'm gonna put that on the tops of my bristles and tap it off and take this in and above the crease all the way over to the tear duct This is really my favorite use of this color. I find that, like, I tried using it on my lid when I first got it, and something about the color just, it doesn't work well on my lid. I'm sure it works for some people, but I find it best for, like, a crease color like this, or, like, to blend out a really dark crease color. Sorry, I keep tapping it off on the top of my palette. It's really loud. Alright, and then once you get that, I'm going to take my 239 and Beauty Marked. And I'm going to tap this on my lid. I'm, gonna, I'm hoping to keep some of the sparkle that is in Beauty Marked Intact, which if you have Beauty Marked, you know that on the eye it looks absolutely nothing like it does in the pan. In the pan it's really beautiful and shimmery. And then you put it on and none of the shimmer shows up and it pretty much just looks like a weird black. The artifact helps bring out the like purplish red color that it has to it a little bit more and some of the some of the shimmer is still intact not much though and I'm gently with the tips of the bristles blending in the crease 
Then I'm just going to use the other side of the brush, and then I'm going to wipe it off and use Star Violet, which Beauty Mark and Star Violet are both permanent colors. So I'm going to use a little bit of that and put this on the inside, right over Beauty Marked. And I'm going to bring it up in the crease a little bit, about a third of the way in to blend it in with romping. And I'm bringing it across the lid about two thirds. I'm going to turn the brush back over and blend. I'm going to go back with that 222 with a little bit more of romping to blend. I'm going to take it up a little bit more, blend this outer edge. Then I'm going to take Cotton Candy Pink from Krylon. Tap it off to light pink. And I'm going to use this as the transition color. Just to help this blend out a little bit. It looks really pretty. This color also makes a really great blush. Then I'm going to take my fluffy brush from Kmart and my favorite pigment, Vanilla. I'm going to use that to highlight. This color is so pretty. Then I'm going to apply liner. See, because this is a really dark look. So it would look weird if you could see my waterline. Up against all that dark. And you could put it on your bottom if you wanted to, but I don't want to. <laughs> Applying mascara on camera is like the hardest thing to do. It feels so awkward. take my 219 with a little bit of vanilla and put that in the tear duct. And bring that up. And that's it. I hope you guys like that. And I'm sorry, I'm trying to put the lid on. And I will see you tomorrow.